Bist du Paul? Ja, ja. Hier, fang. When the movie starts, we record for an hour and a half continuously. And in the end, we are able to track what people uh, are feeling or what they are reacting to in the movie. <laughs> These moviegoers were fitted with monitoring devices before they sat down to watch Martin Scorsese's dark comedy, After Hours. Hi. Hi. It's the third of four movies researchers are showing the group as they track every reaction. The study is an attempt to measure and understand how the audience experiences scenes in a movie. The research team hopes the public-facing experiment will also introduce people to the little-known field of empirical aesthetics, the science of what art makes us feel. When they enter, they're wired with cables that measure the heartbeat, measure the amount of perspiration they have. <laughs> Also the respiratory cycle, the eye movements, their facial expressions, and finally, a bit of the brain data, the so-called brain waves. Are you interested in science, or is this your first interaction with, with an experiment like this? I'm studying music, so I'm, in general, I'm more interested in creative things. Does it make sense to you that scientists would want to study your emotions when you're watching a movie? Yeah, I think it's interesting to know which reactions you can get from the people and which action brings what kind of reaction. So how do you feel about scientists measuring your brain waves and your, your perspiration and your heartbeat while you're watching a movie? So how interesting. Yeah. yeah? I, sometimes I can't believe what information they get after a movie. So it doesn't feel invasive? No, 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 I don't think. At the beginning, we have a moment where if we ask the participant to do something mm -hmm. so that we can measure the body reaction and, and brain reaction uh, without the movie being on screen. So, for example, we ask them to blink, to move their eyes, or to breathe in and breathe out, and they're already starting to move as one before the movie starts. So you have a baseline? Yes. Why are you studying this in a movie theater as opposed to just putting individual people in front of a movie? Nowadays, um, a lot of people tend to stay at home and uh, watch a movie in, on a couch. But the real experience of uh, movie watching is in a theater. What do you mean by that? The idea or our hypothesis is that participants will sync. They will synchronize. Their bodily uh, responses will be sim more more similar because they are captured by the magic of the movie. So with this particular study, we decided to explore how filming the same scene in different ways. For this study, the Max Planck researchers organized public lectures with film specialists talking about previous findings in the field, including a study that shows how the brain reacts differently to the same scene when it's shot in different ways. Eventually, the results of this study, the brain on screen, will be available to all. Is this nothing Später. But data showing which shots and scenes get us excited could be a gold mine in the hands of the movie industry. So who are the different companies that are trying to find out how people are reacting to movies? I know for sure uh, Disney is doing that to study uh, changes in uh, facial expression and even subtle changes in, fa in facial expression. If you do determine this is the kind of thing that makes most people sad or that brings us all together, do you ever worry that your results could be used to sort of make everything the same and sort of generic? People will be tired at a certain point if they are presented always with the same kind of recipe for a movie. <laughs> We hope our results are valid and that they are generalizable, but we will never be able to flat the creativity of writers and directors. 